Uh, today I want to talk about a product by Telestream. So Telestream makes Wirecast and I'm going to look at one of the products of Wirecast. Uh, there's quite a few of them, um, but I'm going to look at Wirecast Play. And this is the Wirecast Play application on a Mac. The other Wirecast app, app is this one here. Okay, but this is the more expensive one. So um, for this trial or for this video, I'm going to show you this one here. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to expand it here just to make sure that I've got more room to show you. Okay, I might just show you the other one as well. It's got more more functions, but this one here, uh, the way that it works is it helps you to broadcast uh, a live session onto YouTube. So for example, I'm just going to click onto my YouTube channel, which is that one there. And then I'm going to click on, I'm going to go to my creator studio. And once in my creator studio, I'm going to go to live streaming, which is there. And from live streaming, in fact, this is where, when I go live, this is where I'm going to appear. Okay, so first of all, in order for, for me to, to appear in this window, I've got to be able, I've got to encode my software. Uh, there is uh, a software called the encoding software. Okay. And so what I have to do is to come back to Wirecast Play and go on to the output and output settings is where I'm going to uh, set up the encoding. Okay. So I'm going to have to authenticate here and choose my the account I want to use. And then I'm going to have to allow this account to be used for this encoding or for the live streaming. I can change the title of this by editing. That's what my title is going to be, Director for my live stream. I can put a start date and an end date for that stream and then I can put a description here and then I can choose to make it public or private. I can put tags in here, e.g. Albert Einstein, flying peak, mashup. I can change this, uh, the category to science and technology, education, news and politics, whatever that is. I mean, whatever I want to, whatever I want to, to do it on then I can just save here. So this has been saved. Okay. This has been saved. So if I click OK, it means that when I go here, okay, the stream is offline, but I should appear in this box here. You can see it has changed uh, from what it was before. Okay. Now let's go back to here. You can see in this space here, there is, it says live broadcast area. This area represents application output. So it's a, if I click on here on layer three, I'm on layer three, there is layer one, master layer one, two, three is this one, four, five. And because this is the free version, but I've paid something like $10 to remove um, a watermark, which was in this area. So I've, 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 I've been able to remove the watermark, but I'm only restricted to this third layer, okay? And my desktop camera is taking this shot, okay? So this is the shot being taken by the desktop camera. Obviously, I need some lighting in here to make uh, it look better. But I can add other things where there's a plus sign. If I hover over it, then it gives me the option of adding a video. 
adding some sound, desktop, or just an object from somewhere. So I could say, I'm going to add a picture shot. And if I click on that, then it takes me to my um, hard drive and I can say, go to the desktop or downloads. Okay. And then I can choose one of these pictures. So let's say I wanna choose, um, I wanna choose this one. This was a thumbnail I made, okay. Uh, on social media for my blog, directorfuma.com. Let me just show you what it is. There it is, directorfuma.com. And if I come back to here, I think I might find it. It's, you know, it's on one of these, let's see, live streaming, today's a perfect day. Uh, social media, television, it could be this one. Let's see if it's the one. The speed on this needs to improve. Okay, I think it was the one before this. But anyway, going back to here, so it means now if I click on this, it comes up on the screen here. So if I was um, streaming live onto YouTube, if I just click on that, then that would come up. If I click on the on the video on the video camera, then this would come up. I could add another picture if I wanted to. So let's say that I want to add another picture. I'd go back to picture shot. And I would uh, maybe choose a different one this time. Maybe uh, this one. Maybe this phone. Maybe I'm going to be talking about uh, the iPhone or social media on the go, mobile social networks. Okay. Then I could come here. I could add maybe. Uh, with this, I could add the FaceTime, okay, which is the same as this one here anyway. So, unless it, if I had another um, camera recording, then I could I could get the the video input from that, okay. So let's add another. Uh, let's add another piece. Now we've done pictures. Let's add a music uh, short, maybe. Maybe I'll go to iTunes, maybe uh, a bit of uh, Jay-Z, first song, um, Holy Grail. I was unable to open, it's not the title, okay, it's not able to bring that one in, but if it was, then it would come over there. Let me just try a video shot, a video shot. Uh, let me go into real player downloads. Let's see, this one is not responding. Let's find another one. Let's go to iMovie projects. My first project. Okay, that's not working. I know I can. So if I wanted to add a video. I'm sure I can find one. Let me just try again. BBC iPlayer downloads, not that one. Um, real player downloads, in like screen flow. Okay, let's take that screen flow. Okay, so now I've got that screen flow there and it, it's what showing. What is me. physics? To answer that question, I'm going to type in Physics. See what the experts say. Physics. Okay, so you can see that uh, from ancient Greek at the bottom here. I just um, don't want to speak over the video, but if you see at the bottom here, there's a counter. When I do put the video, there's a counter showing how many minutes are left. Knowledge of nature from Osis. Nature is the natural science.
Okay. So it means that during the live broadcast, I can switch between these pictures and that video. That involves the study of matter and its motion through space. Okay, then I can have that. But all of this is not yet uh, available on the YouTube here until I click on stream. Okay, let's see this one. Let me see if that's going to send it. No, not yet. I would have to click on stream. I'll just click on it for a few minutes. Okay, if I click on screen, on screen you can see it's starting. Uh, st uh, stream health is good because it's all green here. And then I should appear in this window. Okay. There I am, appear in this window. If anyone is tuning in, I'm just doing a video on a screencast, okay, to demonstrate how to how to use uh, Wirecast Play, okay. So and at the same time, I can also record what I'm doing, okay, and then I can and do that. Time along with related concepts such as energy and force. Okay, let's see if there's some images to go with physics. There we go. I like this uh, image here. I use it quite a lot. Okay, so that was the video and then I can put that short and then you see that it's going to appear over here. There it is. Okay, then I can also uh, put that shot in. There it is. And let's see it appearing over the side. And I can make that full screen as well. Okay, so to those who are on YouTube, I'm going to stop now because it was just a simple demonstration of this. So if I click on stream, then it's gonna stop streaming. Okay. It should stop in a minute. There, it stopped. Okay, there was one person watching. I'll apologize to that person. Um, so, I'm going to go to dashboard and then it's going to show me my channel and refresh that, see if that video appears. It's going to appear very soon. I'll be back in about a minute to check on it. Okay, so this one here is blank, it's a blank shot. And that one there is one of the um, video inputs. Now here it says cut and smooth. If I change that to bowstring, it means when I change, okay, between shots, as I do the live stream, this is what happens. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the screen flow is. How uh, we can project using an application called Reflector. Is that? Okay, so basically this uh, application, the picture quality is not very good. And maybe that's just a way of trying to make us pay more for, for, for the professional version. Now at the top here, you've got, wanted to show you the, we've looked at the output. This is where you, you can also stop and start broadcasting or recording here. You can change the layout. Now, if you look at the layout, I've got the master audio and the main shot there. Okay. Then, if I want to go to a different layer, for example, we are in master layer three, 
which is free. But if you wanted to go to another layer, then we've got the uh, keyboard shortcuts here. But also it says STU, okay, which means I would have to upgrade the account if I wanted to be able to use these shortcuts and to use these layers. Okay. And um, and here I'd use the pro version in order to activate replay and pro settings. I would have to upgrade as well to the pro version. Then for Twitter message feed, I would have to upgrade again, okay, to the STU version, okay. You can see here it says this feature is not available. To use this feature, purchase a license for Wirecast Play Studio or Wirecast Play Pro. So the ST is for the studio and the PRO is for the pro. Okay. And you can start the demo there. So I think that that is about everything uh, there is to learn about this particular uh, piece of application. Now I'm just coming to check to make sure that that video is not live. So I'll go to my channel, go to videos. Okay, it's not showing at the moment. It might actually be showing. I'll tell you what happens. This one I stopped it. Why you slack? It's going to have somebody. It's going to look something like this. This is saying two days ago. Typhoid alert. Yeah, I did that one two days ago. This one I did it earlier on, but I stopped it. Anyway. I think that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions.